Hey, what's up guys? This is Meida. I'm going to show you how to make the final project for CE470 today. So let's get started. First, we are going to create our grid lines with architecture grid. By using the temporary dimension, you can relocate the grid lines. And with click on the number of it, you can rename it. Second, we are going to create our levels from elevations using the temporary dimension again to relocate the levels and by architecture level, you can create a new level you need. Now you have all your level you need. Level 1, 1.5, 2, roof, roof cutoff. Next, we are going to create our exterior and the interior walls by using architecture walls with the exterior wall we have already created from the class. Set the height to the roof and uh, placing your exterior wall. For interior walls, you're gonna set the height to the next level. Like we are creating the level 1 interior wall. So you're gonna set the height to level 1.5 then we are going to edit our exterior wall type click on the exterior wall click on the edit type switch the view to section click on the edit click on sweeps first you're gonna click on add and then you can change the profile the material the distance, change the from to base and change the side to exterior. You can also change the finish of the exterior wall by choose other material from here. This is the 3D view if you do all the changes. You're gonna assign other interior walls to different levels. Then I'm going to show you guys how to make a door family before we install any doors. Go to Big R, New, Family, choose Door here, and Open. First, you're gonna change the height and the width of the door family. Go to Exterior View change the height to whatever you need then we are going to change the door frame material by click on the door frame go to material click on dot 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 and choose the material you like remember guys you're gonna assign a material for every single pieces you created here then you are going to change your wall thickness by click on the wall click on edit type change the wall thickness to the exterior wall thickness in your final project then we can use the extrusion to create some pieces you may need in the door family go to create extrusion and choose the shape you want You can edit the height of the piece you just create from exterior view. And if you choose to create your piece from the exterior view, you can change the height of it from the left or right views. You can also use the extrusion tool to create a circle shape piece and by using the void form tools you can create
create some uh, hole from the piece you just created. And remember guys, you only need to create the typical things for the door family and uh, you can just use the copy tool to make a copy of it. It's really powerful tool. Then we are going to create a window family for the opening above this door. Uh, here you're gonna choose the window and first you need to change the height and the width for the window family. Here you use the extrusion to create some pieces. And then we are going to create another door family for the left and the right openings. Go back to our main family, load the family you just created. And go to create component. You can put the two family you just created in the right location. By using the extrusion tool, you can make some other shapes here to make make it looks better. For the above opening, you can use the extrusion tool to fill the hole there. Switch to your ceiling plans. Go to annotate, symbolic, choose the square. To form a door symbol and choose the arch tool to make the door openings here. Again you can use the copy tool to copy the other half of this symbol. With the same process you can Create families as many as you want. Be careful to choose your uh, default. Go back to our final project, load family you just created and uh, with the drawings we can put the doors and the windows in the right location. You can also put your components in the final project from the 3D views. Doing the same process, load your family and uh, put it at the right location. After you put all your families into the final project, it will be something looks similar like this. Next, we are going to put the stairs into the final project. Go to architecture, stair by sketch, and uh, draw your stairs like this.
Next, we are going to draw the floors. Go to Architecture, Floor. Draw your boundary and uh, click on the check mark. Don't forget to make the openings for the stairs. Switch to level 1.5. Go to Architecture, Railing, Sketch Path. Check the chair. Set the offset to 5 inch. Sketch your path and click the check mark. Go to roof plans. We are going to create some other exterior wall for your tower. Duplicate your existing exterior wall and uh, name it roof. Go to edit, change the material to whatever you feel comfortable with. Next, we are going to install our roof. Switch to tower view. Change the underlay to roof. Go to architecture, roof. Check the defined slope. Change the overhang to 2 feet. Draw your boundary and click the check mark. Go to your roof plan. For the large roof on the right side, you're gonna do the same process but change the cutoff level to roof cutoff. In the same view, go to architecture wall, use the roof exterior wall, change the height to roof cutoff, and draw your wall for the openings. Next, we are going to paint our exterior wall. Go to modify, split face, choose the surface and uh, draw the boundary then click the check mark go to paint choose the material you feel comfortable with click on the surface now we are going to create our ceilings so go to ceiling plan with architecture ceiling, select the ceiling type. Make sure the height offset are set up properly. Click on the rooms. With architecture room, we can create our room tags. You can click on the box to change the room and click on the number to change it. Go to annotate, tag all. Select door tags to place all the door tags. Zoom in, click on the box to change the letters for the door tag. With the same process, but select the window tags to place all the window tags. Next, we are going to create a section view. So go to view section click both sides of the building and if you click on the symbol there it will go to the section view directly to create the colored floor plan right click on level 1 duplicate rename the new view to level 1 color go to annotate tag all Select room tags, select color field legend, click on the plan, change the space type to rooms and the color scheme to name. To creating topography, switch to set plan, change the view depth to unlimited. From mapping and set, use top surface tool, set the elevation to 0 and click 4 points. Set the elevation to negative 4 inch, click another 4 points. Set the elevation to negative 2 feet 6 inch. Do it again. By making the subregion, you can make 
grass or walkway on your site plan. From 3D view with architecture component, you can place some chairs, vehicles in your project. By using the camera tool, you can make a 3D view of your project, either from inside or outside. Then go to View, Render, make your own choice for setup, then hit Render. Paint the room the same way we did for the exterior wall and put some furniture there. Now you have finished the drawing parts of the project. Now you should have everything to create all the sheets that are required. If you have any comments or questions, here is my email address. Send me an email. Thanks for watching and see you in the BIM world.